Look what came in the mail today. My GT500 spoiler. Now, it says that it does not use the factory holes on the deck. Well, all the videos I watched show that it does, in fact, use the factory holes. So I don't know why they say that. So we're going to find out firsthand if it actually does or doesn't. Okay, so to remove the spoiler, you just have to unscrew the two bumpers and then yank off this plastic piece right here. And it's easier if it's sitting in the sun because it's kind of a squishy plastic. And then instead of using a pry tool to try to get those off, which breaks off the head sometimes, just lightly pull on the fabric and it just pulls the pins right out. So you don't have to have any tools. And I'm not going to take it all the way down because I don't need to. Because you got one there, and there, and two on the ends. Okay, got the spoiler off. I just lifted up on each edge and got to about here, peeled it up. And then just worked my way across, slowly pulling up on it, getting the uh, double-sided tape off until it finally came off. Okay, I got all the sticky stuff off, and I just roll it off with my thumbs. Now, you may not be as lucky, ideally, you'd want a 3M eraser wheel, or maybe a hair dryer and make it easier, but with it sitting in the sun, it came off nicely. Okay, we got it all installed. As you saw, the two there, they fit fine. These were fine. And all the bolt holes do line up with the factory holes in the top of the deck. But to put the screws in, you have to drill two new holes. I just kind of lined it up with this little bevel there. And then this one's basically just slightly down and over of that one. You can get your uh, flathead screwdriver in there. And to put those in, just like taking them out, you want to set it down about like this and then put the screws up in there so they don't fall into your uh, trunk lid. But I'm really happy with the uh, paint on it. Paint quality is good and it looks really good. Looks way better than the uh, stock spoiler.